Hello, welcome to Just Ride Bikes. I'm David, and this sparkling bike is a brand new Envy Frey. I've been riding the bike for the last couple of weeks, including a trip to Belgium for the Tour of Flanders Sportive, my absolute favorite ride in the world, a great weekend of road racing and cobbles and beer as well. And later in this video, I'll share my ride impressions of this bike on those roads and also my local roads as well. We'll talk about how it compares to other bikes in the endurance all-road category and how it compares to the Melee and the Mog as well. Right, let's dive in. So the new Frey is an endurance road bike and we have space for up to 40 millimeter wide tires with a one by drivetrain and that dropped down to 38 with the two by I have here. And that puts the Frey in the same company as the Special Roubaix, the Trek Demani and a giant to fly. So a good move if you want a road bike like this with the option to fit some nice chunky wide tires and you don't want or need a gravel bike. Now it's really interesting that MV have launched a fray and the way it slots in between the Melee and the Mog. And it makes a lot of sense because most bike brands have a race bike, an endurance bike and a gravel bike. And for lots of people choosing one of those three bikes is clear and obvious. But there are similarities between this and the Melee and the Mog, which can make it potentially tricky to choose the right bike for you. And if you want one bike, they can do it all with changing wheels and tires, and the Mog is probably a better fit. But I do know for some people, the 40 mil tire clearance might be all you need for the gravel you do. And compared to the Melee, that's an interesting one. And I think it comes down to whether you race or not. But if you're not racing, then this is an obvious bike. A bit more relaxed in the fit, so better for all day rides at a steady pace and space with bigger tyres for that traction and comfort benefit. And the bike is optimised, according to Envy, for between a 31 and a 35 millimetre wide tyre in terms of the geometry and the way the bike handles and the fork, rake and trail and so on. I've been riding the bike with these WTB Expanse tyres in a 32 mil width my first experience on his tyres and a good fit for a bike like this because you might, depending where you live, want to take it onto dry dirt roads and light gravel as well, tarmac or pavement if you're watching in the US as well. And in many ways, the new Frey is a bit of a mashup of the Melee and the Mog in the best possible way. So we have a full carbon frame and fork with all the aerodynamic profiles of the Melee road race bike. You see the similarities in the head tube, the drop rear stays, the down tube, the fork blades, and so on. But then we have some features from the Mog, like the top tube mounts for a bento box for more food storage. And in the down tube, we have a cargo bay for carrying tools. And right now I've got a spare tube, gas canister, multi-tool tire levers, and a tubeless repair kit inside two neoprene bags, which stop all those bits and bobs rattling around. And it's much nicer, in my opinion, than having everything in your saddle. Living seagulls, eh? Much nicer than having everything in your jersey pocket or saddle bag getting all dirty and crummy. Now, let's talk about geometry. And the new bike comes in seven sizes with four fork rakes to get the best fit across that range of sizes. This is a size 56 and fits my 181 centimeter height perfectly with a setback seat post and an 11 centimeter stem. And despite endurance bikes all trying to achieve the same goal, the way they go about it is slightly different. There are important geometry differences between this and a Giant Defy, a Special Roubaix, and a Trek Demani in terms of the stack, the reach, the wheelbase, but they broadly fall within a similar sort of blueprint, but not all identical. And it's worth checking a website like Geometry Geeks to see how this compares to other bikes you might have in your shortlist to help you determine the best fit for you and the riding you want to do on a bike like this. So those are all the main details. Let me hit the road and you'll join me somewhere out in the country lanes. And we'll talk about how the bike rides both here on my local roads and over in Belgium on some pavé. Right, okay, 
I've been riding this bike for nearly two weeks now, both on my local roads, which you see around me, and also a trip to Belgium for Tour Flanders. A great test for any road bike, especially an endurance road bike designed to offer more comfort than a race bike. And boy, let me tell you, this bike rides like an absolute dream. It really is a lovely bike to ride. Silky smooth on the rough roads. It coped with the cobbles in Belgium so, so well. I was really impressed with how smooth, calm, and stable it was on the uh, wet, slippery cobbles of Belgium. Sadly, the weather was so bad, it was tricky to film, but we went out on the following Monday, and here's the footage of riding up the Koppenberg and some of the famous cobbled roads and climbs that made Tour of Flanders such a, a brilliant event. If you've never been over to Belgium, you've never done Tour of Flanders, you really should do. A great weekend of riding, uh, spectating, and great food and beer. So all round top quality weekend. And the bike really impressed me on the cobbles. I've done Tour of Flanders many, many times on many different bikes, but this bike was definitely one of the smoothest experiences I've ever had. And I was really blown away with how it just floated over the cobbles, made riding those wet, slippery cobbles as easy as it gets at this side of a fat tired mountain bike. I had more confidence to carry speed into the faster downhill cobble sections. Loads of traction from the WTV tires, which were excellent actually. Not the fastest rolling tire in terms of rolling resistance, but ample grip, traction, and definitely bomb proof. The amount of comfort that MV have extracted from the bike really impressed me and surprised me. The big tires are doing a lot of the work, of course, but it's definitely a smoother ride than the Giant Defy back on more familiar roads that I know really, really well. So definitely a cut above the Giant Defy. Not as good as the Special Roubaix in terms of outright comfort. There's no mechanical suspension isolating you from the, the bumps and the holes and the cobbles. But the simplicity of a bike like this nice high quality frame, fork, seat post, and space of wide tyres. It's ugly, all most people need these days. Blimey, it's windy out here today. Hopefully you can hear me over all the wind. I mean, I shouldn't grumble, because it's lovely and sunny. And spring is almost here. Definitely warm me up today. But yeah, chuffing windy, chuffing windy indeed. And unsurprisingly, the fray does feel very similar to the Melee. The Melee was an impressively smooth race bike. This bike is definitely a touch smoother, but it's the geometry differences, both the stack and reach, so a more relaxed fit, and then a longer wheelbase and a slacker head angle, which make it a much calmer, more relaxed experience. And it is a great set of numbers and angles that give a great sense of kind of road bike finesse and agility but I planted stability of an endurance bike. And I can see this bike really appealing to those who don't want a race bike and don't want a gravel bike. I think this bike offers that nice sweet spot. Many people will be fine on the melee. That takes up to a 35 mil wide tire, remember? And the Morg might be a first style option if you want a road stroke gravel bike in one package. But if you want a nice relaxed fit, but a fast, lightweight, great riding, endurance road bike, space of wide tyres and mudguard fender mounts. This is definitely a really good option. I mean, it's a lot pricier than that Giant Defy. The frame sets alone is nearly the price of that entire Giant Defy I tested with the same Ultegra DIT group set. So it's certainly not a cheap bike. It's definitely premium. But Envy are known for making cheap components, cheap bikes and wheels. And that's the price you pay if you want an Envy. Nobody forcing anybody to buy an Envy. But the ride quality of this Envy is clearly a few steps above the Giant Defy, which, as you remember, if you saw my video on that bike, was a bike that impressed me greatly. And here's a question for you. Or not really a question, but more of an observation. 
I'd rather personally have an endurance bike with a slam stem like I have right now than a race bike with a stack of spacers. If you are riding a race bike with a big stack of spacers to make the bike fit, then arguably it's not really the right bike for you. You would be better on an endurance bike and it looks better, it gets slammed, no ugly spacers, and then you benefit from a slightly longer wheelbase, a slacker head angle that makes it just a nice experience to ride. You could race this bike, you totally could. And we rode some sections of Tour Flanders at some pretty rapid speed for me, all relatively speaking, of course. And I didn't feel handicapped or held back. They had all that fast responsiveness you want from a race bike. And clearly it's not as razor sharp or fast as a Tarmac SL8. That bike is a lot lighter. Uh, but this bike is definitely one that takes the punishment of the cobbles. It looks after your body, your back. Fatigue levels are almost non-existent. A really fine package indeed. And then the color. I love, love this colorway. It looks fantastic. So first impressions on a brand new NV Frey are very good indeed. I love the combination of the geometry, the fit, space of wire tight, and the comfort and speed it offers. I like having all the tools and essentials in the down tube, not rattling out of the way and certainly out of the mud compared to a saddlebag. I love the way the bike looks, the shape, proportions, and this paint job is fantastic. It really sparkles in the sunlight. Hopefully, I've done a good job to capture the, uh, the glimmer, the shimmer of this new paint finish. But that's enough for today. The sun is out and it's shining and it's warm. Spring has finally arrived. So I'm heading out for another ride on this lovely new bike. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. And if you want to see a review of the Melee to remind yourself how that bike rides and compare to this one, then watch the video up here. And if you want to see a roundup of some of the best endurance bikes you can buy right now, then watch this video down here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here. Right, that's all for today, guys. I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.